Hello everyone, in this video we'll be studying differentiation from first principles or finding the derivative using the definition of differentiation which is this. To find the derivative we evaluate the limit when h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. Now this topic is under the IB mathematics analysis and approaches high level only. So to clarify this idea, we will have some examples and we will start with this function 3x squared and we need to find the derivative. Now before we find the derivative based on the definition, if you have studied the quick differentiation rules, you may know that the derivative of this can be found like this. To differentiate it, we will have f prime or the derivative would be First, we put the 2 down and multiply it by 3, which will be 6. Then we decrease this power by 1, so we have just x power of 1 or x. So the derivative of 3x squared is 6x. And if you would like to know more about quick differentiation rules, you may check the video that appears on the top right. So now, let's differentiate this based on this definition. So here, the derivative will be first limit when h approaches 0. Here we notice that we have f of x plus h. So in f of x we will replace the x here by x plus h. So instead of 3x squared we will write 3x plus h squared. Then we have minus f of x as it is which is 3x squared all divided by h now see here can we evaluate the limit from now if we evaluate the limit and replace h by 0 then here we will have just x plus 0 which is x so x squared and fully here we will have 3x squared minus 3x squared so the numerator will be 0 and if we replace also this h by 0, we will have 0. So if we replace h by 0 from now, we will have 0 over 0, which is an indeterminate form. So that's why first we will expand and then simplify. We will expand this bracket, x plus h squared. So we will have limit when h approaches 0, 3 multiplied by. If we expand this, we will have x squared plus 2xh then plus h squared all minus 3x squared so minus 3x squared then divide all of that by h we will expand and multiply the bracket by 3 again so we'll multiply 3 by all of these so we will have 3 by x squared then 3 multiplied by 2xh which will be 6xh then 3 multiplied by h squared. Then here we have minus 3x squared. Then all divided by h. Now notice that 3x squared and 3x squared cancel each other. So we have these. And we have h in all of the terms up and down. So we can simplify and divide up and down by h. So we will have limit when h approaches 0 here 6xh divided by h will have just 6x plus here we have 3h squared divided by h as well will be 3h so now it's simplified and we don't have the h in the denominator anymore because this h was causing the problem here as we saw now we can evaluate this limit and replace h by 0 everywhere. So 6x doesn't have any h, so we keep it as it is. Then if you replace h by 0 here, we have 3 times 0, which is 0. So the final answer is 6x. So if we differentiate this based on the definition, at the end we get 6x as we got here in the quick method. Let's move on now to this example, square root of x. 
So here again, uh, to differentiate, we will get a limit when h approaches zero of here. We have f of x plus h, so we replace this x by x plus h. It would be like this. Then minus f of x, which is square root of x, all divided by h. Again now, try to replace h everywhere in the fraction. You will also have 0 over 0, which is indeterminate. So here, to solve the problem, when we have square roots, we multiply up and down in the fraction by the conjugate of this numerator. In other words, by the same numerator, but instead of minus, we reverse it and make it plus. And then we have square root of x down, we multiply by the same as well. We multiply up and down by the same expression so that we don't change anything. So here, why do we multiply by the same and with a plus? As we know from this algebraic identity, a minus b times a plus b is a squared minus b squared. So this is the same. It's like a minus b times a plus b. So that we can multiply this by this, and then we multiply this square root of x by this. So here we will have a limit when h approaches 0. If we multiply this square root by this square root, we will cancel the square root and have only x plus h. Then minus. If we multiply square root of x by square root of x, we have just x. So minus x and all divided by. Here, I will multiply h by the denominator here, but without expanding. Like this, h multiplied by square root of x plus h plus square root of x. Now, we can cancel x and x. So we have limit when h approaches 0 of h only, divided by the same denominator, which is x plus h plus square root of x. So now, notice that we can cancel again h and h. So we cancelled the letter that causes the problem. So here, if we divide by h up and down, we will have 1 above and down square root of x plus h plus square root of x. So now, we can evaluate and replace h by 0 everywhere without any problem. The numerator would stay 1. In the denominator, if we replace h by 0 here, we have just square root of x, plus here it will be square root of x as it is. So, square root of x plus square root of x, which will be 2 square root of x. And this is the final answer. If we differentiate this, then the answer will be 1 over 2 square root of x. But now again, if we need to differentiate the square root of x quickly using the quick rules, square root of x can be written like this, x power of half. So to differentiate, we put the half down here, so we have half, then x power of we subtract 1 from this half. Half minus 1 would be negative half. We put the x down and make the power positive half, which is 1 over 2 square root of x. Here it's x power of half, then it will be square root of x. Let's now move on to differentiating x cubed. So here, before I differentiate this, try to pause the video and differentiate it based on the definition as we did in the previous examples and then you can continue the video and watch or check the solution. So here, to differentiate this, we have here f of x plus h, which is x plus h cubed, minus f of x divided by h. Now, we will expand x plus h cubed. So we will have all of this expansion here, up to this part. So here, as a high-level student, you should know how to expand x plus h cubed based on the binomial theorem or just by multiplying x plus h by itself 
three times. Here, notice that we can cancel x cubed and x cubed. So we will have just this left here. And in the numerator and the denominator, we can divide by h again. So if we divide up and down by h, we will have 3x squared plus 3xh minus h squared. And now, this expression is ready to evaluate. We can replace h by 0 everywhere here. So we will have, here we don't have h, so we write it as it is, 3x squared plus, if you replace h by 0, then all of this will be 0. And here also we have 0, so minus 0. Then it's just 3x squared. So again, when we differentiate x cubed, we get this by using the derivative from first principles.